Well, as Australia's housing crisis continues to escalate across our biggest cities, new super suburbs are beginning to emerge as a way to tackle housing shortages and provide more affordable options for families. Across the country, an increasing number of communities have been earmarked for a residential explosion, giving Aussies new opportunities to crack into the housing market at a low starting price with a guaranteed builder. So where are these super suburbs? Well, for more, we're joined by property advisor Anna Porter. Good morning. Morning, Anna. Well, what makes a suburb super, so to speak? These suburbs offer a really affordable property landscape. So you're getting more affordable housing, lots of new housing being developed, so you're getting a lot more bang for your buck with more modern homes, and they're getting a lot of great schools coming into the area and infrastructure and jobs. So these are all the things that are attracting people to these locations. OK, so why are we just um, considering these sort of untapped areas now? Look, people are just getting priced out of the areas that we love and know. You know, your inner city suburbs, your metropolitan locations are getting too expensive and people are having to look further afield for more affordable options, but also wanting areas that have got new infrastructure going in so that they can get, you know, a lot of new amenity, which is really important. New schools, new hospitals, all of this is becoming higher importance to people as our system is getting older. OK, let's take a trip around the country and have a look at these uh, suburbs being unlocked, starting with Victoria. So in Victoria, we're looking to the north of Melbourne at Craigieburn. It's a great location with a median house price still under $700,000, so it's still quite affordable. If we head over to some other suburbs, say around Sydney and New South Wales, we can pick up some great buys in around about a million dollars in the Picton area where lots of new suburbs and housing estates are popping up all around Picton and a quiet little country town is becoming very popular now for young families. Uh, if we look over to, say, South Australia, there's some great opportunity over in... Oh, sorry, we'll jump into Let's Queensland. Let's go to Queensland. Queensland. Yeah. Let's yeah. go to Queensland. So if we're going into Queensland, Aura is a new master plan suburb that's going to be the size of a small city that is actually right between Sunshine Coast and Brisbane. And for $600,000 starting price for a house and land package, it's great value. Wow. OK, let's go to South Australia now. Yeah, let's jump into SA. So if we're going to South Australia, uh, we're looking around... Uh, no, we're looking around Rockingham is actually in WA. So you can get a new unit in Rockingham for about $450,000, which is a great buy when you're getting about an hour out of Perth. Oh, it looks like our graphics uh, screwed that one up. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hardly noticed. Nonetheless, do we Anna, have South Australia? We do have graphics South Australia. Graphics department, do we have yeah, South where, Australia? Where in South Australia yes. are we looking? Port Adelaide in South Australia. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, Port Adelaide has got a bit of an industrial history. Uh, if you're going to Port Adelaide, you're certainly picking up some new units on the foreshore. They're redeveloping a lot of that and it's becoming a really, really vibrant hub for buyers and, right. and investors as well. Mm. Good description. Computer yeah. says no. We yeah. didn't quite have the picture for you. But, Anna, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it. And uh, more houses, only better. Yeah, thank you, Anna. And we'll put all the information on the website mm. for that.